Алло. Слава Украине! Слава Украине! Илюшин, смотри. Видишь, Илюшин? Слава Украине! Илюши больше нет. Он, он заболел и умер. Все. Нет, Илюша, он заблудился. Заблудился. Это была первая его ошибка. Вторая была, он заблудился в Украине. А третья, последняя, он сдох, сука. Алло, что у вас там нет уже отключили? Россияне. Че вы причмокаете губу, дама? Нет. Так от него осталась, блядь, одна жопа оторванная. На, а, что мне показывать? Телефон, слава богу, да спасли, чтобы вас набрать и сказать, что этого полупокера уже нету, придурка ебаного. Это у тебя вместо головы жопа, блядь. Не, сейчас вот у вашего парня, вот где-то плюс-минус, как вы говорите, вместо головы у него жопа, а там где жопа, там голова или что от нее осталось. Слава украинской артиллерии. Так да хочу его показать, его собаки доедят, да и все. Твою маму собаки доедят, брать. Доедят собаки, мы же даже их не хороним. Их хоронить, блядь, ну нет времени, потому что так ебашим полным ходом. Лежат куски его, вот там на А, там голова, блядь, телефон вывалило вместе с оторванным курковом, блядь, да и все, так и остался. Вау. Вау. That's giving all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth, and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole full elect scattered abroad. Did you just see that, man? Okay, and if you didn't, go back and read what he was saying. Stop the video a few times, read what this man just said okay the caption says ukrainian uh um, ukraine soldier video calls the girlfriend of a dead russian soldier to laugh at her loss okay which i think is the other way around um this is a russian soldier i believe that's calling the ukrainians um a wife you know to laugh at you know the the, the, the ukrainian soldier dying all right so this man killed uh this woman's um husband in war okay and she he said how uh they took his phone out of one of his limbs that you know that that, that was blown apart they took his phone out and when he went back to the barracks i guess he he called the man's wife okay to mock her man okay these other nations are prepared for war okay they are you know the lord has uh you know these other nations and and, and, and a very you know ruthless spirit man you americans are not ready for what's coming okay you americans are not ready for what's coming okay these uh russian troops are about to come over here and make a speedy riddance of all you fucking niggas man okay all all, all you rebellious you know jakes and you and, and you heathens the lord is about to show you man but it's crazy for her to find out that her husband died from the men that killed him okay he said how they fed him to the dogs you know the dogs ate him you know like I said, go back and read it. But let's grab a few scriptures because this right here is the time we're coming into. Man. Well, this is already time, time we're in. Okay, we're already in this time, in the time of war. It says, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, you heathens. Prepare war. With, hey, the Lord says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Pre prepare war. War is coming, man. Okay. World War Three. Okay, the third world cometh quickly. Okay, where these nations are already, you know, fighting, but it's gonna, it's gonna increase, man. It's gonna increase, and a lot of you are gonna be widows. It says, and if you go to these, like we to tell you, if you go, if you go to these, you know, to go to fight in these wars, you, hey, you gonna have a dirt nap, man. Okay, you are gonna take a dirt nap, a, a dirt nap. It says, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. You see, so the Lord said, wake up the mighty men and mighty men have been waking up and they're about to, you know, they all they all pretty much about to kill each other. It says, let them draw near, let them come up 
Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. So you had these a lot of these Ukrainian troops that were really just farmers, man. But they got sent off to war. OK, meaning and when it says beat your plowshares into swords, beat your pruning spears, uh, your pruning hooks into spears, meaning, you know, they ain't farming no more. And they're not, not are using weapons, you know. All these countries' resources ain't going to um, algae culture and food and medicine and you know education. No, it's going to war. Okay, it says assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Oh, oh, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord's putting the spirit on these nations to go to war. Which is going to lead them going to the Valley of Jehoshaphat over in the Middle East. And they're all going to be, be destroyed, man. Okay. But let's grab that. Okay. Because you got to understand what time we're in, man. You know, you got Jake talking about, oh, I'm going to the military. I'm going, hey, if you go over there, man, your ass ain't coming back, man. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a season. There is a season and a time. It's like him. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven okay it says a time to be born and a time to die okay this is a time when many people are about to die it says a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted okay and and, and, and they always talk about the baby boomers you know that time after you know, i believe world war ii when um you know all these americans started you know they came back from war started having all these babies and stuff or was it world war one I'm, I'm not exactly sure but you you, you get the picture Okay, well, that was the time, time to be born. Now, now was the time, time to die. It says a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break, to, to break down and a time to build up. And jump down to verse, uh, a verse eight. It says a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. You see, so we are not in a time of peace right now. We are in a time of war, and it's only going to increase, man. Okay, it's only going to increase. And this woman just became a widow. And you see how she found out. Okay. You see how she found out that she became a widow. You know, by the, 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 the very men that killed her husband. And they laughed and they scoffed and they mocked her, man. Okay. They laughed and they scoffed and they mocked her. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is to be feared. If you don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you're going to learn to, man. Okay, you're going to learn to. This is why a lot of you women... Are, are going to find yourself hug you gonna go find yourself husbandless you or, or your boyfriend you know you, 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 your scammer your drug dealer you know they're gonna get drafted off into war and they ain't coming back man okay uh second Ezra, chapter 15 verse 49 i will send plagues upon thee widowhood poverty famine sword and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death the lord is going to do this man he's already doing it okay he says he said widowhood meaning you're your husbands are going to die, okay? Your husbands are going to die. You know the 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 the, the men that you you know uh, 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 want, you know that's not serving you. How about some y'all shy? They're going to die, man. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse forty-four. They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Uh, let me see. That's not it. That's not it. So lock here. Let's go here. Here we go. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse. Um, verse 33, it says the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Why? Because all the men are dying. You know, the, the first ones to go to war are the young men. OK, and the virgin is a young woman of marital age. So a lot of these young women, they ain't going to have no men to, to, to cleave unto in that day. That's why the scripture says seven women shall take hold of one man. Something is about to happen in this earth that's about to humble you people on another level. It says, the woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In their wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. You see? In these wars, your bridegrooms are going to be destroyed. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Okay? So the Lord is showing you what's coming. All right? The Lord is showing you what's coming. He saw the woman hung up, you know, and he he called he he called her from her boyfriend or her or her husband's phone, and she hung up, okay, crying and shit. She probably over there losing her mind right now, man. 
Okay, well, we know when in the time this video happened, she was already losing her mind. You know, and she said, Who is this? And she said, She said, Show the body. Show the body. You know, that's what you resort to. You want to see his body? You sure you want to see his body? It says second Ezra chapter 16. Let's bring it back. Um It says, The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms, the woman shall mourn having no husbands. Uh oh, it's like yeah, having no husbands. Their, and their daughters shall mourn having no helpers and the war shall their husbands shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine verse 35 hear now these things and understand them ye servants of the lord hey you serving the lord you serious about your whole boss you shy hear these things and understand them. this is what's coming man do not fall out of this fucking truth do not get weak do not start getting you know uh uh uh, uh getting that woe is thou me spirit nah man it's time to push man it's something to push like never before. If you serve your Yahweh Shemyah Shai, if you, if you claim to be a man of Yahweh Shemyah Shai, get on fire for your Yahweh Shemyah Shai, man. Because this shit is about to go, this shit about to hit the fan. And a lot of these people that you see around you every day are about to start dropping dead, man. You know? It says, Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Look, this is the word of the Lord. Receive it. Receive this word, man. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. You believe in all these false gods. You know, Christianity, Islam, guess what? That shit ain't going to save you, man. Okay? It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh. They are not slack. These plagues are drawing nigh. They're getting closer and closer, and they're not slacking. They ain't slowing down. They ain't tarrying. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours her birth great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slacken out a moment. So you see, you see how how when, when a woman goes into labor, she starts getting those um those contractions, and then at, at first it's you know one you, you, you know you know one and then then they, you know a little bit later there's another you know and then they get they come you know right behind each other hit one after the other, and then that woman is in you know extreme pain and she's you know going into labor. Well that's that's how these plagues are coming. It says even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth, man. So we ain't, it ain't going to be the time to sit back and, 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 and cuddle up in bed and pillow talk, man. Okay, we're coming into a time where you ain't going to have a fucking house. Okay, you have to you, you have to be on the move. Okay, a pilgrim has no set dwelling place. Okay, you might lose your whole family, man. Okay, and be the only one that make it out. Okay, and be running for your fucking life. That's the times we're coming into, man. Okay, you better prepare your mind for it, man. Okay. It says, verse 44, they that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. So you can't be, you know, you won't be caught up in this world right now, man. Okay, because this shit is coming to an end. It's over, bro. It's over. Okay. And, and it's our job to tell you of these things. It's our job to let you know what's coming, okay? And and when you and, and when you uh hear these things, man, you you supposed to be you know getting your mind right, man. Okay. I'm end off with this right here. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse seventeen. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when those when these evils shall come, which means bad times? Behold, the behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment, but for all their wicked, for all the all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. The so people ain't gonna repent. You people ain't gonna repent, so you're gonna be caught up in these things, man. Okay, you, one day you might be getting this phone call. Okay, seek your help by Shimon Shine, repent, or you will die. Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Abad Babal.